Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. And this is the first video I'm filming whilst I'm 31. I still can't believe it. I'm still shocked. I am shook. <laughs> anyway, so for today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, I thought I'd do a what I got for my birthday plus what I did for my birthday. So just kind of reminiscing over my 31st birthday. It's so crazy to say 31st. But I just thought I would kind of like film it just for a bit of memories and things like that. And everybody loved my 30th, 30th birthday haul of what I got last year. So I thought I would do another one. And just purely so I can look back on it as memories because I like looking back at things like this. And I also like watching videos like this as well. So I just thought, why not do it again? So that is what I'm going to do. So young. Yeah. And disclaimer, like I have to do every single time, I'm not bragging, I didn't get a lot for my birthday anyway because it's not a special one and plus I didn't really want much. And yeah, I get more for Christmas than birthdays anyway, so yeah, just a few little bits and bobs and I just wanted to kind of share what I did, so yeah, let's get into it. So let's do my haul first of what I got for my birthday. Now yeah i literally just got some stuff off my mum my dad and my sister and one of my friends and i got a load of birthday cards oh and i got some money as well but we'll go through that as well and um, but yeah so i'll just start off with like presents wise what i got so yeah so first things first i got these these like jean <sighs> kind of like cargo-y i can't remember what they're called but they're from shein anyway and it's this like really light gray color they like combats um quite wide uh, but they're like a they're not they're like a jean material but not jean material because they're not like that thick but yeah i can't really describe it it's kind of like um ribbed but not properly ribbed like if you look at it I don't know if it's going to focus. It's like lined material, but it's not like proper ribbed. Like, I can't really explain it, but it's got like a pocket there, pocket here, that kind of goes around the edge of your leg, another pocket here, and same on the other side. Pocket, another pocket here, and a pocket here. And they've got little rips in them as well, just randomly. Now, the rips weren't on the pictures, but I like ripped stuff anyway, so it's all fine and yeah it's a little button and a zip but my mum's gonna try and pull them in because i actually tried them on before my birthday in a size eight because i'm in between sizes it's so annoying i really could do with a size nine um and they were fine around my waist but around my thighs were a no-go so that's because i danced that i'm telling you <laughs> um so we went up a size to a size 10 and the 10 is too big around the waist, but fine on the thighs. So it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, so these were off my sister from Shein. And I absolutely loved them. I love the quality of them as well. And I can't wait to wear them. Also off my sister. She also got me this. Because we have this tradition of like, I don't know, we just buy each other a helium birthday balloon. Like each year. It's just always been a tradition that we've done for a very long time now. And we've continued it. So, yeah, that's why I got this balloon. <laughs> so, thank you, Tracy, for them. Next, we're going to go with stuff my friend got. So, first of all, I got these two boxes from... Um, so, little boxes there. Moonpig. And I had a feeling it was from her because she asked for my dress again. Because we're all really rubbish at remembering each other's dresses. Um, so, she asked, she texted me and asked me for my dress. And then these boxes arrived. So, I knew it was from her. And it was from her. So, first of all, I got this. Uh, she got me these. Which are the Calf Kidson. And they're a set of four glass tea light holders. Which I really, really love because I love my candles. And I think it's going to be really nice because I can like place them around the house. And have like little, little candles in them without making a mess. And I'm going to put one in the bathroom. One in my bedroom. One in the living room because I've already made a mess on my unit just behind you guys. And probably I don't know what I'll do with the other one. I'll probably keep it spare because I don't really have... My, my living room and kitchen are together. So it's not like I've got a kitchen space. But yeah. I really thought it was a thoughtful idea and each of them have like little 
um, positive things on. So like keep kind, shine bright, dreamer and explorer, adventure awaits stay wild things like that and i thought it was really cute and i also love kakerton so this is a bonus and i can't wait to use these and yeah so thank you and along with that i got these off her as well and my favorite chocolates in the whole wide world for our rochers i literally only get these around christmas and my birthday i had to I, do you know, I was literally like i bet i get, end up getting some for my birthday so i i it took me forever but i literally tried so fast like tried to eat my other so fast that i got for christmas because yeah i just i just had this feeling i was gonna get some for my birthday because i normally do so i ate them really fast so that i could <laughs> i didn't have like loads of chocolate lying around the house because i want to eat healthy but then i keep getting given chocolate <laughs> and i don't eat this much chocolate like through the rest of the year so yeah, but I absolutely love these, so very thoughtful. And I didn't know that they could come in a little heart shape. So I thought that was cute. And then the last present wise that I got from my mum and dad, and I got some more Ferrero Rochers. So it's a good job I ate all the ones from Christmas. And yeah, so this little pack here, which I absolutely love because I love Ferrero Rochers, so can't go wrong with them. And then I got this. So it's this hoodie it's kian's merch key and crow and basically when because you're you all going to be like how did she get her hands on that when it was only sold at the tour so i went to i went to kian's tour um if you watch my vlogging channel you would know i went to kian's tour and i saw this and loved it and i couldn't justify spending 60 pounds on my self um <laughs> so i literally i rang like i texted my mum was like if i buy this do you want to give me the money back and you can give it me for my birthday and she was like yeah okay so yeah it's the kian merch from his tour and it just says his name in the middle and it says thank god you're you are thank god you're an angel and then it's like it like look looks like low in the dark stuff but i absolutely love it and then it's got these little like flowers down the, the side of the arms oh, it's on both sides as well but I'll tell you what, this material is so thick. Like, when I first saw it, I didn't think it was going to be a really good material, but it's so thick. And I've worn this already, and it's been in the wash, and you just can't even tell, like, it's really good material. Normally, you put, like, new hoodies in the wash and they bobble straight away, but this one has not bobbled. And literally, it's just so good material, so thick, and it's cosy, and it's so comfy to wear as well, and I absolutely love it. This was one of the things that I was really looking forward to getting because if you all know, Kian's tour was in like, I want to say November and yeah, was it November? Let me have a look. Was it November? It feels like it was ages ago. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find out when it was that I went because it feels like it's been forever but then at the same time I don't think it was. Yeah, it was November, 29th of November. 29th? Did I post it on the right day? yeah 29th of november it was so i've been feels like i've been waiting for it for ages but it's gone so fast and yeah i've been so excited for this because i absolutely love it and i'm a proper like keen fan at the moment and then the other thing i got was from my auntie and uncles and i got 60 pounds so i'm really grateful for that so thank you guys for that as well now that is everything i got for my birthday so now we're going to talk about what i did i didn't do a lot i did like a few bits and some of my friends still want to meet up and celebrate it but we've not really got anything booked in yet so hopefully like next month or something we can arrange that because my friend who sent me the moon pig stuff is actually in london at the moment and she wants to meet up so that'd be cool if we could now yeah moving on to what we did so on the actual day of my birthday it was actually a saturday and work i've got this new thing anyway where you just automatically get your birthday off paid as an extra day off now i would have booked it off anyway so <laughs> it's not really much different for me but it's good because we got an extra day off for your birthday and yeah so my birthday is on a saturday and my normal day off is a sunday and then i booked off the monday as well because i worked my day off at christmas or on a christmas eve and i was older day so yeah but that off um so on the actual day of my birthday my mum and dad came up and me my sister my mum and my dad all went bowling um and i won <laughs> 
honestly, my dad was fuming because basically he was winning and then the game just all of a sudden shut down in the middle of it and it was just after my dad bowled as well his second bowl of his go and yeah so i went to the guy at the the like till bit and was like yeah the the game's just shut down in the middle of it so he then like put it back up and run in and then it like the whole thing re like it reset itself as like a new go but didn't register my dad's goes so there was he it only registered his first go and not his second go so like they were just standing ready for the next person so then i had to go back and tell the guy and he had to reset my dad's go and then when my dad bowled he got one point less than what he did originally and i won him by one point so realistically it should have been a draw between me and my dad but i ended up winning because of that so i keep going i won i won and keep winding him up because he was fuming um, but it was such a fun game i've not been bowling for ages and it's so good to go to the one near me because we've never been there before and it's small but it's good so i would definitely like go there again then we i nipped into work because i just needed to grab something and then I, everybody was wishing me a happy birthday i got dead embarrassed um i was just like thanks um and then because work was right near the bowling place and then we went for a meal at the harvester and i had my favorite meal there and it was the buttermilk strips in wrap but because i'm fussy i just had literally had it plain and sweet potato fries because i love sweet potato fries and a hot chocolate so that is what i got for my meal and then i just had a chilled sunday a built some stuff to put in my bedroom and just had like a little chill day and I got a new TV so I was messing around with that and then on Monday I've nearly got my days mixed up Monday I chilled for the first part of the day my friend finished work at four o'clock so I nipped to work to pick her up I say pick her up go and meet her and then we went to a coffee shop for some hot chocolate and cake and then we decided to go to Calico's, which is like a restaurant bar type thing. Um, and we got some mocktails, some, I, I tried pink lemonade and it's so nice. And then we got a meal, but she wouldn't let me pay for anything. So, thanks. <laughs> I was literally like, are you sure, are you sure? And she was like, no, it's your birthday. And I was like, oh, um, but it's her birthday soon, so I'm going to get her back she doesn't know it yet but i am um and yeah i got a buttermilk chicken with sweet potato fries and then we got it was a free dessert so i ended up with two desserts that day we got churros but we didn't end up finishing them because we were both so full i literally got home and was laying on the floor like oh my god i can't move <laughs> but yeah i absolutely loved it it was so nice of her to do that and it was really really nice the food and i'll definitely go back to that restaurant again it was really nice so yeah and then obviously i've still got some more celebrations but they're not really planned um just with some other friends that i haven't seen for ages and yeah so that is my little like haul and story time of what i did for my 31st birthday it's still a crazy same 31st i literally can't get over it um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and first video is a 31 year old i can't i literally can't cope um i still look about 10 <laughs> still look about 10 i actually can't go over it <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again if you like these type of videos let me know and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up just so that i know for next time <laughs> and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time with another video bye